here in this video we'll learn what are the new features came in angular 12 angular community has released a stable version of angular 12 on 13th may 2021 let's try to understand what are the new features came in angular 12 what's new in angular 12 let's try to understand a glance on what are the points that angular has been focused for angular 12 updates moving closer to ivy everywhere testing updates support for nullish coalescing stylish improvements translation feature changes from legacy i18 to messaging ids other updates moving closer to ivy everywhere angular started the ivy support from angular 9 ivy provided support for backward compatibility ivy engine also used to make our application simpler faster and easier to maintain ivy provided type checking efficient build time optimizations and fast change detection from angular 12 view engine is deprecated and will be removed completely in the future release angular team recommended the developers to update their libraries to ivy engine from view engine even we can disable the ivy feature by updating the enable ivy option in ts config file to false once enable ivy is made to false in ts config the ivy support for our angular project will be disabled testing updates in angular 12 the angular community is still working on the future of protractor for now angular opted not including the protractor in new projects instead team is working to provide an alternate solution for the support of third party libraries like cypress testcave etc let's try to understand what is nullish coalescing support in angular 12 angular community introduced a new operator that is nullish coalescing in angular 12 for checking null and undefined of a variable by using this operator we can check null as well as undefined of any variable in shorthand example data not equal to null and data not equal to undefined then expose data else something this statement can be replaced as data with a double question mark with something so if data is null or undefined it displays something otherwise it returns data this operator has been introduced in ECMAScript 2020 and supported in angular 12 let's try to understand what is styling improvements from angular 12 we can even use scss as inline styles inside the angular component decorator to enable this feature we can update our angular json file within inline style language to scss to enable this feature we can update our angular json file with inline style language to scss angular 12 also provides high support to tailwind css library from angular 12 node sas support has been removed and instead sas npm package is used Angular 12 introduced a new syntax, a great use for consuming the SCSS or SAS files instead of a great import. This can be migrated automatically for Angular CDK and Angular material using ng-update command. Let us try to understand what is translation updates and how, how to use them. To avoid white spaces and formatting template issues in I18 format, Angular introduced message ID in Angular 11. Whereas Angular 12 provides a two simple steps with CLI commands for migrating from legacy I18 to message ID format. The command ng extract I18 format equal to legacy for migrate. The above command creates a messages.json file by mapping legacy IDs with newly created IDs. The second command is npx localize migrate files equal to dot xlf which is mapping to messages.json. The above command updates all the old IDs with new IDs throughout the application. After migration is completed, set enable i18 legacy message ID format to false in Angular compiler options which is in TS config file. Let's understand a small other updates. Now ng build defaults to production environment instead of dev environment. In the previous applications like till Angular 11, ng build always points to dev environment whereas from now ng build points to production environment strict type check mode is enabled in cli 
Angular 12 is providing full support for Webpack 5, whereas in Angular 11, we have only experimental support for Webpack 5. TypeScript support updated to 4.2 version, and also they are trying to update the documentation for more flexible and understanding to the developers. So these are the few updates from Angular 12 and the major as well as minor updates which came in picture from Angular 12 and now hopefully from Angular 13 complete IVY support would be expected to come in picture and can be expected more performance with more flexibilities. Thank you. If you like my video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and click on the bell icon. And also you will see more and more updates in this channel. Thank you.